Hello everyone, my name is uh, Marlon Fischer. I'm uh, working as a sales um, manager from uh, Balang AG. I will introduce you something about our newest products and our booth. And uh, we will start now with our eye catcher. So as you can see, we have here our newest MaxWave product um, in a waterfall application. It's a 3.9 millimeter pixel pitch product and it's glued directly on metal mesh. So as you can see, a little bit behind it, it's 50% transparency and you can see it's directly glued on metal mesh one. You have here like four, up to 4,000 nits and it's also available in 2.5 and 6.2 millimeter pixel pitch. But it's such a cool uh, technology, no? Yeah, that's right. So it's um, the glue one and the transparency is now in the focus here. But you can also install it on glass, directly on glass as well, or for example, in a frame. And uh, your company, what do you do with this? Do you, do you implement it? Do you... Yeah, so um, we rent these products, for example, or you can directly fix and sell it in shops, on glasses, and um, that you do some uh, some task about this. Yeah, so we introduce it and uh, install it directly on shops and glasses. Is it already in mass production or is new? It's one of our newest products, but um, we have a lot of. Uh, a lot of square meters of this one and um, that you can do that you install can you install what's yeah. behind here yeah so behind we can see our our legend wall um, it's in our legend family um, it's a 1.2 millimeter pixel pitch product with cob technology so away from imd smd and with the new one um, cob technology it's based on Nova Star processing, and um, if you're standing right in front, you can't feel any or so much heat. Nice, and it's uh, it's alive. There's little animals walking around. Yeah, the so as moving. you can see, the flowers are moving. Um, so it's moving content on there. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. It's alive. The wall is alive. Yeah, that's cool. That's right. And you also, so you also have this on 1.5 millimeter, 1.9 millimeter pixel pitch, but it's also into COB technology. That's the main reason. Yeah. This the, the these are the specs. One that's is uh, the Legend 1.2. As you can see, thousand nits, 1.2 millimeter pixel pitch, Nova Star processing, and um, our Maxwell product that I introduced with the waterfalls. Um, as you can see, that other specs one. Nice. Moving forward to a little AV quiz that you can start. Here you can see our Jupiter Panda display. It's interactive. That means that you can touch it, that you can play our little AV quiz. We have it in 105 inch and also in 81 inch. It's Included a touch version, but it's with our touch version as well. It's for conference rooms and uh, something like that. As you can see, white one, perfect. Next question that you can interact in this way. Nice. Coming now to our MaxRef product as well. So we have a different application here. As you can see, we are built it directly, we glued it directly on glass. So you can see, it's called the Lucy product and it's more the, the rental product of this one. You have 3.9 millimeter pixel pitch here as well, and very nice, you have here the transparency as well of 50%. Nice. On the bottom, you can't see it right now, but on the bottom you have the control boxes, that means here are the control boxes where the content is created on the LED screen. It looks so cool. Yeah. Uh, is, it a, is it mass deployed? Do you have customers all over the world using yeah. this or not yet? So we have customers all over the world using this. For example, this application is perfect for, for, for this product. Coming now to our first flex product. You can curve it concave and convex. Um, it's called actually the COBP 1.56 flex product. You can feel any single LED. Um, it's COB technic, uh, LED technic as well. And interesting fact is that the frame has magnets on it. So that means that 
you can build the frame how you want and you only have to click it with the magnets on your frame. That means that you can curve it, uh, that you can concave, convex and um, do it like your own way. 1.5 millimeter pixel pitch as well. As you can see here, 1000 nits, ship on board technology, technology and uh, also with Novastar processing. What's the big one there? The big one there, that you can see, is... Projectors. Yeah, that's why it's projectors. They're hanging on top, on, a, on the truss. In the frame, it's the new Panasonic REQ12 series. It's the successor of the RZ series. And um, we have in total now here um, over 50,000 lumen that are pointing on the, um, on this, on the screen there. Yeah, that's a lot of lumen. That's right. But we have more lumen on the other side. As you can see on top, we have three QDX 4K40 projectors, the successor of the UDX projectors from Baco. In total, we have here 120,000 lumen that are pointing on the screen here as well. Wow. The interesting fact is, the projectors are in a motorized frame. That means that no one has to claim it on top. You can remote control it here and you can um, put it down from here with a, with a remote control. So there's just like that comes yeah. down. So you can put it up, you can put it down um, because the plate, the um, project plate is moving. And so that is why you can, can um, set the, the projector how you want. Nice. So these are some of the best Panasonic projectors in the world? Some of the best projector. Yeah. That's what money can buy. Uh, what, what's on the screen here? Yeah. From the screen here, you can see our PixelU application. We have here the PixelU P20 and the PixelU Q8 as well. Here you can see on the screen the, the software that you can click. You can see the single inputs, the single outputs, audio, video, um, and you can control your devices over the software. You can put here many input cards, many output cards, how your setup is like and how you want to handle it. On the right side, we have Analog Ray. It's the Analog Ray Aquilon as well. Um, you can here see the software as well. Um, Markus, maybe you can show us some... Uh... Ah, okay, that's clear. Okay, yeah. um, and as you can see here that you um, can set your settings. Nice. And it's all controlled through yeah. a cool... It's all controlled here. with the um, RC400T, so the control panel, and you control everything um, over here. So you can press some buttons and then you will change to this uh, display, to this display, and so you have uh, different outputs and inputs. So your company, you partner with different companies yes. to make all this? Yeah, so um, our company, we are working together with um, different manufacturers, different suppliers. We have um, different uh, distributions um, for this one, like Analog Ray, like Panasonic, like Barco, like Epson, and um, yeah. We are standing right now in front of our newest LED product. It's 0.9 millimeter pixel pitch. That means it's our smallest LED product that we have in our rental fleet at the moment. Is that a new product? Is called the Enki. It's in a special base rental frame, and um, it's for the it's for the rental park. This is more than 4K, right? Yeah. So um, as you can see here, it is uh, more than a 6K wall that you can see. Um, Six meter height and around three meters light. It's very, very sh sharp. Yeah. It's very, very sharp. That means you can't see any single pixel standing right in front of you. I'm come very close. That's, that's Maybe really, very close. Uh, really, um, really but, interesting. Uh, yeah. From one meter away, it disappears. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. And then a few meters back, yeah. it's just so impressive. All right. Uh, these uh, müssen da, da sein. So, yeah. Nice. And, and uh, it's here with and Nova here you have some drones. As well. What do you do with the drones? Coming to our drone area, as you can see, we have uh, two different drones, like the Ubify Ifu and the Virtua Aero X1. As you can hear, some examples for drone shows. 
that means that you can rent drone shows, that you can rent the pilot, that you can rent the software, and that you can rent the actual show. We you are, make the, the yeah, drone show. We are creating your drone show um, after your wishes. So um, we are. What's the doing maximum like this. amount of drones we can support? Um, actually, at the moment, we are flying drone shows up to 700 drones at the same time. Wow. But um, you need for sure a little, we do it much space, but you can do it with 1,000, 2,000, 5,000 drones as well. Is it so, secure? There's sorry? no chance anybody hacks the drone no, it's, and um, corrupts the show? It's uh, not possible. Maybe hacks it. It's not possible. You can't hack it because um, you have your own software and only this software that you are in can control the single drones. So that's totally. Uh, ISE 2025 is drone shows. We introduced the drones last year, 2024, um, with hanging ones, but in the year 2024, we created many shows. So it's pushed more on the market, especially in Germany, in Middle East, and uh, can so create some, some more shows of this. And uh, As you can the see, guys who are experts in this kind of digital signage mm -hmm. are the same guys who know how to make a drone show? For example, so the the thing behind this is that we you can introduce it for Piro or something like this. That is that Piro can be changed to drones. You can fly the drone shows 12 minutes, 12 minutes one drone show, and um, you can put it on your software and create the own show as well. It's It'd more be cool for, if the if the drone even carried fireworks. You it launch from the drone. <laughs> That would be that would be nice, but you have single uh, pixel um, pixel down here, and uh, as you can see, they are light in RGB, like in red, in green, and blue, and um, this creates the colors. So they never crash. No. So out of seven hundred, uh, they all land back. They all land back. Yeah, yeah. So you have to guarantee that the uh, that the battery is full for sure, but um, <coughs> they never crash. So I think you know what would be cool. If 700 are doing a show, and then they go land at the same time, 700 yeah. other ones go up, mm -hmm. and the first 700 swap the battery and go up after they swap the yeah. battery again. That that is possible that you can swap this one, but you need a lot of space for this one. So we have in total 1,400 drones. You need a little space for this, but uh, you can create it like like you want. So that you can control the software and say, okay. The 700 drones fly 12 minutes, and then you swap it, and other 700 fly, and do different shows, different modules. Yeah. Is it similar engine? The CPU running a digital signage and a drone show. It's like pixels. Yeah, it's like pixels. Similar exactly. software. Yeah, it's like pixels. Um, we want to do it like. For now, it's more than a, the rental option, but we want to do it for fixed installations as well. Maybe some some shows that are flying everyone on <coughs> around the PM. cathedral in Köln, for example. For example, should be a drone show all year. Yeah, and people can come 8 p.m. see the drones. Yeah, for example, that uh, you have uh, a locked time and say every day on 8 p.m. you have a drone show and some people at Kölner Dom, for example, can see can see the show. Yeah. All right. That's a lot of cool technology. Yeah. And which kind of CPUs do you work with? You were, you were mentioning Novastar. Do you work with some of the other ones? Yeah. So we're working with Novastar. We are working with Brompton. So we have different um, different manufacturer. We are not based on only one manufacturer. We have many alternatives. Yeah. And with the customer, you just figure out what is the best for them. Yeah. And you make so, it. So we want that the customer is happy that we deliver the right solution based on the application and based on the job that you that the customer wants and what they want to show, what they want to do, really deliver the best option with every alternative and um, yeah, make the customer happy. That's and our goal. Your company is based in Köln? Yeah. So we have um, our headquarters based in Köln, uh, near of Cologne, so it's uh, in Lindler. And um, we have also destinations in the UK, in Switzerland, in Spain, and in Middle East as well. Yeah.